Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this review is for Studio Series 86 Jazz. This decal set includes two decal sheets on vinyl backing, one decal sheet on clear, and one on foil. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Studio Series 86 Jazz, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Jazz looks great and very true to his movie self. He's got great paint applications, taking a closer look at the figure. You've got a great paint advisor right there on the head blue headlights, paint details right here on the hood with the red Autobot logo and the blue. Nice paint job there on the grill. He's got blue down here on his waist. Moving on down the legs, there is silver for the shins and the feet. So all in all, a really sharp looking Jazz, but if you're a G1 toy fan, you know he's lacking quite a few decals. So that's where Toy Hacks is gonna come in and give this really cool bot and overhaul. So there's one final look at Jazz in robot mode before. And after. Jazz gets a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode. Taking a closer look at the figure, the first decal we're going to look at is the new metallic blue visor. And I really like the looks of that. You do have a couple options. You have the metallic blue like I have, or you can choose a silver. I like the blue because it's more cartoon accurate. You also have new striped decals right here on the chest, a martini logo here on the front of the chest, and a new chrome grill. Down here on the stomach, he gets a new chrome and yellow decal. Moving on down to the hips, we got new decals here on either side, and an Autobot logo. On the forearms, he now has a black stripe that goes all the way around. Down to the legs, we got chrome kneecaps, and chrome shins. He also has a lot of striping that carries over from vehicle mode. Now, if you're a hardcore G1-er that likes to display your Jazz figure with the doors out like the Generation 1 toy, Toy Hacks has set you up. If you take the back of the figure and open the doors out, they give you new number four logos that go inside the doors so you can display your Jazz with wings out. And for a quick Generation 1 comparison, here is Studio Series 86 Jazz with his Generation 1 counterpart. So you can see all the Generation 1 throwbacks that Toy Hacks added to the Studio Series figure. So there you go, guys. Studio Series 86 Jazz after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Jazz once again looks very true to his cartoon self. My biggest issues is with the clear windshields where you can look through and see all the robot junk there on the inside. I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, I don't mind translucent plastic when it's used for windows, but when you see all the interior robot junk, I feel like it detracts from the vehicle. Another issue is if you're a G1 fan, you know that that 14 should be a number four. So I'm not sure why they went with 14 instead of four, but Hopefully Toy Hacks will fix that. He's got great paint applications right there going along the roof down to the hood with the blue and red stripe. Autobot logo once again front and center. Some red pin striping there along the bottom. And that's pretty much it for the paint applications. So there you go guys. One final look at Jazz in vehicle mode before. And after. And vehicle mode is where this decal set shines. And what's really cool is Toy Hacks does give you plenty of options for vehicle mode, such as all the stripes you have. There are different options. You have the stripes that I have on, or there are different ones where you can kind of 
position, the size of the stripes you have, where you want the number four to appear. So it's really up to you. You can make this jazz your own. So taking a closer look at the figure, the first thing you're probably noticing is the new window decals. I love that. You guys know me. I hate translucent plastic. This helps so much. And I like the tint to it. It's not cartoony, yet it's not realistic. It's just, it's cool. It's just something different. I, I'm liking this new style of window decal. Now on the back is a little separate decal to make this look like one cohesive window, but this is just a little strip that goes on the white plastic. You want to be very careful with this decal along with the tiny decals you see here, here, and the one in the middle. As you see, these are all on the hinge and you want to make sure there is clearance for when you transform him to robot mode or you're going to pop those decals off. Also, here on the back, you got the Martini Porsche logo. There are a couple different options for that. You can do the silver background or there is plain white or clear rather. I went with the silver logo because it's more Generation 1. You also have different options for right here across the windshield. I went with Martini Porsche. You also have Martini and Rossi, Martini Racing, Agent Meister. So options out the yin-yang. Plenty of options. More decals right here along the side. You've got vents here, striping all kinds of sponsorship logos all over and of course right there the number four on the doors now be cautious with these door decals i had to actually trim these off you can probably see right here is where i cut right above the four because the decal themselves fortunately they give you options there's a lot of extra space above that number four that went right up to that hinge. And when I transformed Jazz into robot mode, it peeled the sticker back. So I'm so thankful that Toy Hacks gave options or extra decals. So I may reapply these later to see if I can get to fit a little better, but please be very careful with that hinge right there. Now, moving along to the back of the vehicle, you got the Martini Porsche logo up here on the spoiler. There's a Dunlop logo. Back of the vehicle, Martini right there. He's got taillights, a black bumper, and exhaust. So this is a really cool looking vehicle now. I mean, it was cool before. It just is totally awesome now. And now for a quick Generation 1 comparison, here is Studio Series 86 Jazz with his Generation 1 counterpart. Now, as you can see with the striping, I chose striping that matched up with the Generation 1 version, along with having the four right in the middle of the hood, opposed to the option where you could have it a little lower. So I think that looks really cool. So there you go, guys. One final look at Studio Series Jazz in vehicle mode after. Studio Series 86 Jazz is a great figure made even greater thanks to the Toy Hacks decals. And I forgot to show off a couple in robot mode. He's got these new decals here on his shoulders and the black stripes along his feet. So anyway, back to my final thoughts. I love how Toy Hacks added all the Generation 1 toy decals to this movie accurate figure. Now, this may not be for everyone because a lot of Studio Series collectors like the fact the figures are screen accurate. But for the rest of us who like the movie accuracy with the Generation 1 toy accuracy, this set just knocks it out of the park. This is my third race car set of decals that I've applied in a row from Toy Hacks, and I love these. Kudos to the design team at Toy Hacks. You have another winner. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!